Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, here in the Astro Circuit, Season 5, ODC number 2, Losers Bracket Round 7 matchup between Sway AU and Collateral AU. Now, of course, Collateral have had a little bit of a, of a wait since, their, since they were knocked out of the uh, winner's bracket, I should say, whereas the team of Sway, they've been playing through the Losers Bracket for quite a while now, taking out two deals or two ones throughout their way, so they've definitely had a lot of a warm-up here, but already you see three players getting dropped from them. It is Domination Strikes, so and it's map one, and it is a best of three series, so you're going to keep that in mode in, in mind. Sorry, Parallel to this, you have Mega taking your Tyrant Game which is also 1-1 one, one at the moment, so it's going down to a map 3 for that as well. Just wanted to throw that out there, but back on board with this game, we shall go. you got Oculus TKO on your screens. Now, for those wondering on who's on whose team, for the team of a Sway, you have a Vert. You got Oculus TK, you got Dread, and you got Flying. And for Collateral, you can see by their magic game tags Killer, Pred, Nels, and Hurdy. Now, on board with Killer at the moment, as of course he's just watching over to that A side, not really. Uh, you know, looking at the right area, but you know, you've got to give him credit for trying to set up with the uh, setup that his teams agreed with. He did take out one as he ran straight into another one. His open arms basically was the way it went, as of course they still are holding that two flag control, but you got Nels holding this B side, able to get the reload quick enough to be able to pick off that first kill there as well. You're going to be seeing Pred over on this statue side. There's going to be another player contesting him, but he won't be able to pick off that kill, and he will get taken down there. Then, okay, you know what, let's push on down over to this A side. Let's see if we can uh, try, and, try and get this capture going strong, and then go from there. They will be able to actually get that A flag for themselves. A couple of shots went a little bit uh, you know, haywire there. They were able to actually clean up that kill win, but the knife kill from Killer going huge so far. 9-1, I remember someone saying that you know he's, he's going to be going negative in this game. It doesn't seem to be the case as of yet, going 10-2. Curdy, though, who uh, tried to pick off a couple of kills. Two minutes of action having been played already here in map number one. Three minutes still to come. Just in the first half, then the second half to follow after that, Pred. Going to be on your, uh, you know, on your screens there, taking the capture. And one actually player is going to contest him, but pokes on out. But unfortunately, he poked on out into a terrible position, and he got taken down. Now, kill the last one up. He's going to get dropped as well. And you're going to be noticing, even though the scoreline 45 points to 27, with two and a half minutes remaining, if the team of Sway are able to keep that A and C flag alive, then they will be able to catch back up by the half set. If anything, take the lead out from there as well. It depends on how they play out these next two and a half minutes. Of course, you're going to be seeing Oculus TKO get a nice double kill. Take out two of the players from Collateral and forcing the team of Collateral to come out from that B side. It's a perfect opportunity to just control that spawn. And there you go. So, uh, you got Dread, Dread Sway with the triple kill, just shutting down Collateral, not even letting them go out anywhere. The neutralized flag over on B as well, just to add insult to injury. There was a little bit of a crack in their setup, though. You see one of the players has actually pushed it out over to the C side. They'll need, now need to either push on forward to B, push on forward to C, and try and stop, you know, try and get another flag back so they can continue catching back up here. You're going to be seeing them go for this B flag instead, and we'll swap on over now to the team of Collateral, the team that is trying to now push on down for, you know, tr trying to make something happen for the remainder of this map. Rather half as you have 95 seconds. Studs will go out though. They won't be able to actually pick off that kill as it was in front of the box, but the shots sure will. Bullets in the chest sure do take you down fairly quickly as you have heard he taken down. One is going to get shot in the side there as well. Sway, or oh, sorry, Dread Sway currently on a 7 streak. He's trying to make an 8, but he's going to make a 0 as he does get taken down. And that's going to be resetting his streaks down to Kingdom Cog. As you're going to be seeing Oculus TKO go on down. He's going to get shut down. And uh, Vert going to be pushing on down himself. Will he be able to actually pick off that kill? Yes, he will. Take down one. And he'll start this capture over on B. Now, you notice the score is still eight points to the lead of Collateral, even though this last sort of minute and a half has really been in control of the team of Sway. You know, it, the scoreline still stands with a little bit of a difference. Now, with the remaining time in this half, they can still catch back up, but that A flag will need to be captured by either of these two parties. So you're going to have a nice knife kill there from Hurdy as he rotates over, trying to make something happen, possibly, over on this B side. you got his teammates over on that A side. They're losing C, and they'll try to make something happen on that C side as well. As you notice, C flag has been utilized. Going to get captured by Collateral, and they're going to be able to maintain this lead coming into the second half 
of this uh, map number one. Of course, as, as I mentioned, since we entered the losers bracket, it there, we are going to be seeing any more of the best of fives that we did in the winners bracket. It's going to be a straight best of three. You got the domination, then you got an SD, and then if needed, it's going to go to a blitz. Of course, we'll start seeing our best of fives again into our losers bracket final. But currently, this is losers bracket round seven. We have our losers bracket round eight. Then our losers bracket final and our grand final to come, and it is only 4.14 p.m., so we have plenty more action coming out throughout the day. So remember to tweet out the stream using the hashtag, hashtag Astro Circuit, and you see that round that he kill cam from Hurdy from the Collateral AU side. Now you're going to be seeing that scroll line, as I mentioned, 83 points to 72. That makes an 11 point difference. And we'll jump aboard with the team in the lead. The man with the most points in the game. It's going to be Pred. He's actually going to be waiting around over the pro shop and he will be able to get that first blood in of the, of the half as well. As you're going to be seeing him rotate over. Maybe maybe try to be a little bit sneaky over on C. Unfortunately, didn't work for him. The player was waiting for him over on the statue. But nevertheless, they were able to rotate over to that B, set, uh, B flag. Now the downside is that they have started losing their uh, A flag and they'll need to now rotate. It is, has been neutralized. Now they'll need to sort of you know, go back to it and be like, okay, you know, you know what, we need this capture again. We need to hold that double, uh, double flag advantage. And it's nearly there. It's nearly captured. But unfortunately, just the second two slow and they did get that neutralized flag once again this way. So I know John Ford is the last remaining player that he's going to be flying and that is going to be him pushing into toilets and uh, trying to Trying to get taken down, I guess. And, uh, I mean, he was succeed successful in dying, if that was his original aim. And you're going to be seeing Pred now getting stunned once again over on toilets. Now he's going to be going out as well. Won't take him down, but he's going to back out of there. He's deciding which way does he want to go to. you got Pred taking down Sway. So you got Pred taking out Vert from the Sway side. As you do see one, of course, on the flag point. Going to take down Oculus. And right here, we'll see what Vert can do. To try and take down one day, he's going to get dropped, so we'll swap over to Pred. Not really much happening on his screen either. So let's see what Killer can do. One was to his left, but he won't really spot that either way. He's going to be going over to Pro Shop, where quite a few players are. He's going to get the first knife kill. And of course, two players are there. One's going to get taken down. The other one from his teammate. You saw Nels and Killer both get doubles there in that contest. And they're going to be spawning over the kitchen and toilet, which is going to be crucial for them if they want to try and get that capture and stop them. They're going to get the capture nevertheless. They're going to be seeing them have a triple cap at this current stage. You're going to be actually seeing them be able to hold off that B flag and now try and get that capture once again. But players are pushing it down. One kill will happen. He'll, she'll try. He'll panic as he turns around. He takes down a second one. You got Hurdy taking down one. He'll take down two as well. Another team down from Collateral shutting down the Sway side. But they are sporting there. That wasn't good. For the uh, team of Kalat. Either way, they've managed to just scramble on quite a few points here. 123 to 86 with 2 minutes 45. We're about to enter into the final quarter of map number 1. Domination strike. So now you're going to be seeing Oculus TKO push on down. Try to take one. Unfortunately, won't be able to dread right here on your screen, pushing over onto that pro shop. Of course, it's not really going to be contested as it goes over to C flag, so we'll swap over to maybe another player over on the, uh, the the sort of A, sort of mid sort of side. That would be Pred, as he takes down the kill on Oculus. As he rotates over to boxes, he'll get shut down as well. His teammate will be able to pick up that kill. That was Killer taking down Sway. Sorry, flying Sway. And Nell's taking on Dread as well. Generally, I'm used to seeing, you know, the, the, the sort of player tag me at the beginning, and then, you know, the other, the other players have... Their regular usernames are at the end, but you know, this time it's, it is reverse with the clan tag being at the end of the game tag. So I do apologize. I keep saying a lot of people as Sway, but uh, I'll try to correct myself as, as much as I can. As you have Hurdy pushing on down over there to that B side. Gets taken down, but Nels was able to pick up the slack, picking off that kill with 1 minute 50 remaining here on the clock. 143 to 194. Oh, sorry, to, to regular 94. No 100 involved in that one. As uh, you know, you will see them just trying to hold this one off. The, the, definitely, they, they've done a great job here to be able to hold this one. And even with a uh, you know, a triple cap, it is going to be tricky for them to catch back up. It's about to reach that point where it is mathematically impossible to actually catch back up in the series. And we'll see though with a uh, maybe a neutralized, you know, guaranteed needing a neutralized triple cap as well to to come back into this one. It just doesn't look likely. It does look like Carl could take out map number one here. In the uh, in the series, that being said, on board with Killer, as he wants to push on down over onto the B flag. Course player is going to be checking around. Every other player has gone into kitchen. That player is going to turn around instantly, as Killer is going to be rushing through front door. He needs to check to his left, and 
He actually bounces back and won't be able to pick up the kill. If he did, it would have been amazing. Unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. Oculus CKO takes that one, nearly takes out his teammate as he aims towards him. We'll start getting this A capture secured though. You've got Hurdy getting a knife kill there over on B. He's going to start getting that for himself as well, it seems. As you have his teammate there to support with the double cap, the team of Sway. Spawn over on to the A flag. They're trying to push on out, but there's just not enough time remaining. With this score currently at 163 to 109, that's guaranteed the team of Collateral Map number one, and they'll go on into this next uh, into this next map with basically could could basically wrap things up with an S and D, and not even needing to worry about a blitz. That being said, it will be a uh, a blitz on oh sorry an S and D on freight. So you definitely want to stay tuned to that. We still have a couple of seconds left in this map, though, before the score does get updated. Now officially going to be a 1-0 scoreline to the team of Collateral. As I update that on your screens for you all. Of course, next map, as I mentioned, going to be S&D on Freight. Stay tuned, because we have more action coming up next in the series. S&D Freight up next. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Map number two here in the Astro Circuit, Season 5, ODC number two loses bracket round seven matchup between Sway AU and Collateral AU. Collateral currently up 1-0 to zero in the series. It's S&D, and it could possibly all be over. But, that being said, a lot of dominations have fallen to the team of Sway, and they've still been able to come back and take out the S&D, then the Blitz. 
to push on through here in the loser's bracket. So we might see that happen again. That being said, 3v3 situation, still even ground. One player picking off a kill each here for their respective teams. And, uh, you know, you're just looking around on the map with Orca Mode on. One player pushing on down through that green side. Taking down Hurdy. I'm not too sure why he wanted to contest that one. Killer War, so four. And you're going to be seeing Nels left in a 1v3. Makes it a 1v2 by taking out one. We'll pick up the bomb, but we'll get shot in the back. And you will be seeing that first round go in favor of the Sway side. Now, of course, keep in mind that defensive round is a favorable one here. Uh, to the team of... I have no idea where I was going with that. But the, uh, you know, the, the defensive round, I'm going to try and pick off where I believe I was talking about. The defensive round is uh, definitely the more favorite one for these two teams, and we'll see if they'll be able to actually make a play out but happen here. Sway, AFK, DC, maybe something? I'm not too sure. It's actually back in there now, very, very late to the, uh, to the party. And we'll see now what uh, they'll be able to do coming into, into this next round of the competition. Of course, updates. Pred getting a double kill. Gets knifed by... Pred once again, Pred going huge, uh, flying Sway, the last one alive for the Sway AU side, will be able to pick off Nels though, as he opens up into the gate, the player is going to be charging straight throughout the ground, and I believe that is Pred, you're going to be seeing him, he lined it up, but Pred, he charges on down, straight for that team down, getting a 4 to 1 round count, now Mega, a little bit of an update there for them, in the parallel game, they have taken out Tyrant Gaming, 2-1, to one. so the winner of this game will play them in loser's bracket round 8. It is currently 1-1 one, one now in the round count, and Pred went absolutely huge over on his defensive round. We'll see if he'll be able to push on forward and try and do it again, this time on the offense. Of course, as I mentioned in one of the previous series, they need to start winning these offensive rounds. It can't just be all defense. And you should really see a couple of kills trading nades going out to V3 situation. It is, though. Keller will take down one before getting dropped as well. So now it's a 1v2. And Nels is the last one alive. One's going to be in rolls. He gets tags on. Will he pick up the kill? That is the question. The door seems to be reinforced still. So it won't go on through. But uh, Nels just looking underneath through the trade there. The player still on the side of a gate. Just skipping on forward every now and then. Doesn't matter because they'll be flying. Taking out the kill. Making it 2-1. to one. And... You're going to be seeing the shot out there from Sway. To make it 2-1. to one In favour of the team of Sway here. And of course, you know, as I mentioned, they they did mention that, you know, okay, cool. Uh, you know, we, we've dropped all of dominations here and there, but we, uh, you know, we, we've always come back to, to, you know, make something happen from it. And that being said, you know, you can see a lot of lag there on the on the Sway perspectives. You see them just jittering or might, might just be flying in general, but I mean, that's definitely not, not a great start there from there. Vert just skipping all over the place. You have Oculus TKO now. Wanting to rotate down, of course. One's right next to Logs. One's going to be pushing over to Brown. They're going to spot that one. Be able to pick off that kill. And only two players from Collateral will be out. The door will close. Will it pick off the kill? No, he won't. And the door has closed. And denying him access over into Rolls. The bomb carrier has rotated around, though. And that is going to be flying sway to maybe check over into Rolls. Or will he not? Will he just go for this bomb plant? It does seem to be the plan at the moment. You got Herney just right here. Going to be possibly checking out this bomb right here. Nade's going to be going out though. Pred will take down Oculus TKO. As there will be nothing with the nade in terms of tags or one-on-one. One's going to be straight to his left though. Herney will he check this one. A lot of players miss that. But, uh, you know, who knows? That player's literally just hiding around there. Sees the shots on the side though. Knows there's going to be a play there. Pokes on out. He will try to get tags on, but he will get taken down. And Sway actually makes it a double kill. Nicely done. We'll see it here from his perspective. One player pokes on down from the middle lane there. The other one tries to contest that as well. But he gets taken down. And he will, uh, you know, get taken down to make a 3-1 round count here in this S&D map. Of course, jumping on board with the attacking team. That is going to be Herney with a bomb killer. Going to be running over into White. Will he go underground? It does seem like he will be. And uh, closing that door as well in the... No, didn't seem like he really wanted to. 
Regalis is going to be going underneath, trying to sort of mix something up. As as you can you know, reasonably understand, they need to uh, make this play out for to make something happen here. But uh, Killer Stun's going to be going out as well. Won't be able to connect. They know someone's out on that gate side. The bomb has started. It's plant there over onto the B side, flying the last one alive. He spots one coming out of the uh, green side there, but he'll push on down. The bomb has been planted. The player's right above him, right there. Did it spot him? No, he does now, but he was a little too late, and he does get taken down. 3 2 becomes the score count. A little bit etching to, uh, together here. See the round ending kill cam there. 3-2 becomes the react cat, as I just mentioned. And of course, that being said, you, you know, you, you got you're looking at the kills so far. You got six and three for Pred, you got Nels on five and five, one and three for Herney with one plant, and you got two and three for Killer. And then for the Sway side, you got Dread, six and three, four and three for Fly and Vert on two and four, the same with Oculus TKO. Now we're gonna be seeing Vert with the uh, bomb in hand. He's gonna be running underground. Running point as well, which is a little bit odd. But the gate has been opened. Now, I'm not too sure how high these players have their headsets on. But uh, it didn't really seem like it even really reacted to that at the initial stages. Now you see them, they, you know, they've all turned around. They're all just waiting for something to happen. Let's see if they'll be able to actually continue that play. Though, of course, pushing down over onto this B bomb site. You're going to be seeing Sway try to get this bomb down. You're going to be seeing Flying just looking over onto Red. He'll get taken down. And the bomb has been planted. So we have now a 4v3 situation. We have uh, Nels just looking over into rolls. Will he check gate though? That is the big one. He's looking around for it. The player is there. He'll take down that first kill as he pokes on back for that one. He sees the second one as well. Will he expect the player to be right around the corner? No, he won't. He'll get taken down, but now it's up to Dread. Last one alive. Takes down one. Takes down two. He's got two left though. One's right in front. He'll know he needs to reload. He'll push on down for the knife. He misses it. And he will get taken down. Now plenty of time for that defuse to happen. And now, now make it into a 3-3 three, three round count. Let's see what they'll be able to do on this next round though. Of course, after the uh, you know the, the short intermission while it swaps over rounds. But you've got to keep in mind that it was a quite a extensive lead there to Sway. They, it's, now it's evened up. Both teams are halfway there to take out the map. The difference is Collateral only need this map to take out the series. If they take out this map, they will win 2-0 and go on to play on Mega in loser's bracket round 8. If not, and if Sway take it out, it will be going to a map 3. Oh, the fail stunned there by Killer. As he will now just be forced to rotate back. He's putting his head down in shame. As you're going to be seeing Herney with the bomb. The gate has been opened. The players in it rolls there as well. Nades going out to try and see if there was any players there. Which there wasn't. Keep that in mind. As of course maybe a player actually rotating to go try and do a double back in. And that was Sway who manages to pick off a double kill. Nicely played there by him. Didn't want to contest it through the front. Rather did it through the back. But Pred will take down Sway as well. Sorry, uh, take it fly and Sway. As Oculus TK will take down Pred. It is a 1v3 situation. You're going to be seeing him just going out of the ADS. Just, you know, goofing around. Push your down now. Of course, Bob being down in an awkward positioning. He will get dropped. And that will be a round to the Sway AU side. Now, it is still possible for them to catch back up. It, is, it does seem like it, it is looking for a round for round environment here on this uh, on this map. But, uh, you know, we'll see how they'll go about it and what they'll be able to accomplish out of this one for this this next round because they need to just keep making going for a round for round. If they lose one more round, it'll be map point for the opposing team and they don't want that to happen. This round is crucial. They're on defense though, so they are favorable, you know, in, in this sort of side of things. But you know, the team of Sway, they've definitely excelled well on both attacking and defensive rounds. And we see one poking out through red here. Perfect timing for the team of Collateral. Worst timing in the world for the team of Sway. They pushed on down. You see Pred and Killer picking off those kills. You see Killer there just on the side of Reddy Pokes on down. He goes for a couple of more shots in as well. And uh, don't know how that worked, but it did. And you're going to be seeing 4-4 become the round count here on... Uh, 
this map now we'll jump on board with the attacking team hurting with the bomb killer pushing down let's see if he'll stun himself again no he's going to be able to avoid the corner over the roof and uh manages to stay that alive for himself it does get tagged so we'll call that to his team this is a crucial round for both of these teams to win this one firstly collateral more on the t uh, on the fact that it is their attacking round for you know the team of sway just the fact that they need to win this defensive round to force that at least a 5-4 you know maybe go for their attacking defensive rounds etc pred will try to take down one but his teammate gets dropped in the process so it's a 3v3 situation you're going to be seeing him just climb up to the top he needs to check that bottom right but that player has already entered into red no he hasn't as well doorway there's he goes to check that one down the player is just rotating every every time he tries to want to check something Nels though will take a double kill so Oculus TKO is the last one alive as he exits out of the side of red he'll get the shots off on the bomb planter taking him down but he's going to get shot up from the top no will he be able to yes he does he takes down the kill taking down Pred 1v1 situation will he go and contest that one Nels what will he do he sees him and he takes him down to bet I can't believe that Oculus TKO was able to pick off the second kill there. And my oh my, the first kill was easy pickings. The second kill just was unbelievable. And right here you see 5-4. It is series point at the moment for the team of Collateral. They're on their defensive round, which they find more favorable. Attack starting up next though. For the team of Sway to keep them in this competition. You see Vert pushing on down. But you know he couldn't get the shots off. And he got taken down by the second player. That was there. Unfortunate there for him. But you're going to be seeing the, the last three remaining players. Uh, Flyer will be able to take down one. Oculus takes down another one as well. So that's only one player left up for the collateral team. And that is going to be Pred. Perfectly placed you know, shots there from Sway. They were down in numbers and they were able to just get more numbers out of it and keep that going stronger. Now you're going to be seeing one rotating around. He does see one there. Takes down the first kill in his quest for a 1v3. He's going to be opening up through the door into white. Will he actually go and check that one? The player's going to be checking straight from behind. Taking him down. And it's going to be 5-5. Five, five. We're going into the round 11. Potentially the final round coming up of the series. Or potentially the round to tie it all up. Right here we have... 5-5, five, five, 11 kills for Predator Nels, 5 for Killer Hurdy on 2. 9 kills for both Dread and Oculus, and 5 kills for Flying with uh, Vert on 4 kills as well. With the attacking round being in favour of Sway, they made it work last time, but they need to choose their moments carefully here in this next moment. They need to make sure no one drops, they don't want to be you know, getting that first pick in earlier on. Let's see what will happen. Flying Sway lagging everywhere, which not really a great side, but Vert will take out the first kill. Great start there by them to tie up the series. You're going to have shots out of the back. And Killer will take down Vert, though. 3v2 situation because Flying took out Killer. Lagging all over the place. He does have the bomb in hand. He's going to be wanting to go over onto the bomb side itself. Nell's the last one alive to keep his team in this map. So he's wanting green. He'll take out that first kill. Second one will be on the bomb itself. Player is just holding over onto the bomb site. Let's see if he can get this 1v2 to get his team the round here. The players are lagging everywhere from the team of Sway. Time is ticking. There's no time to be wasting. He's going to be jumping up to check over into red. Player is there, but he's on the outside of it. He's not upstairs. He needs to check this one, but it doesn't seem like these players will. It does see one, though. Gets one shot out. We'll be able to take down the first kill. The second one's staring him straight in the face, and they take him down. That's going to be a 6-5 map. Right here. Going to tie up the scoreline to be 1-1. One to one. And we're going into a blitz. It will be a blitz on Octane. And what a game that was in, the, in, in this mashup. So we're going to go to the decider. Stay tuned because we've got blitz coming up next.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Astro Circuit Season 5 ODC number 2 matchup between Sway AU and Collateral AU. Now, it is the loser's bracket round 7, and this is the final map. It's a best of three. This is the decider. Of course, we could possibly see a repeat if it is tied, but generally speaking, the odds are that this will be the final map. Now, we are going to be seeing which team will be able to go on into the next round, loser's bracket round 8, to take on Mega. Who are, be, who are patiently waiting for that to start on up. Now you are going to be seeing the uh, team of Sway. They were able to take down the S&D, but you've seen some of their players' perspectives. They're lagging all over the place. And on respawn game types, I mean, it is going to be a, 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 a very, very tricky to come back in this. And you already see two caps scored for Collateral 1 for the team of Sway. And you are going to be seeing Killer... Now just push on the end of the player was looking through that cross angle, but as he turned to try and get a different angle, he went in for a cap. Now you're seeing them rotate to defense as well. One player will be there. The shots will go out there. He'll take down one, then get taken down himself. Won't be able to rotate quick enough though to get to that cap point. And you're gonna be seeing him just get there just as the opposing player slides on in for a cap to make it three to two. Now Killer on your screen has got one to his left. He's gonna have one run in front of him as well, taking him down. Gas does fall. No, not yet. Gas hasn't fallen yet as Nels will be uh, looking to... I thought he was going to be looking to push on down, but he won't be. A sw uh, fly in will uh, try to get the kill on, taking out Nels. You're going to also be seeing Dread currently just holding top mechs. He's a little bit boring. Let's swap on over to Vert. Wanting to push on down. Players, of course, missing each other every now and then. You're actually going to be seeing Killer go in for another cap. And currently being the only one on his team to get that cap. And they're currently leading 4-2 as well. Two minutes having gone past. We'll see what the uh, the man of Killer will be able to do here. Getting a couple of shots in on the double Humvees. I'm not too sure if he really needed to waste all that time shooting across into to nothing. But, you know, whatever floats your boat. As Nels trying to get a couple of shots in. Pre-shots, of course, into the top mechanic. No one was there. Looks at double Humvees. Gets the kill there. And will rotate back on down. Now you're going to be seeing his team trying to push on up quite aggressively. And that is going to be Killer once again. But he will fall. So let's see what Herney can do right outside of store here. He's going to be pushing on down to another uncontested goal. And finally, someone other than Killer will be able to get a cap in here in the game. That's going to be 5-2 to two with one quarter in. Three quarters to go. Two and a half minutes remaining in this half and of course then the sides will swap but um, the cap will happen the relay cap will likely happen and you are going to be seeing Nels on a seven streak one player is going to be pushing up to his right the shots did happen there in the end though as as they try to push on down to try and take out Nels Pred was there to take him and down trying to get the shots in will clean up the kill on flying and right here you're going to be seeing the, uh, you know, the his teammates sitting up there on the 18 wheeler as well no one's really wanting to, to put themselves in, in that overly form of uh, of danger. Herney tries to go in for a cap, and Prendia will try his luck with the opposing team spawning there. He's about to run into one, picking off the kill. Enters into store to try and get another one, but he won't be able to line up his shots correctly. And they do take him down. 90 seconds, though, and counting. Here, of course, the uh, nades to be going on out. The man of Herney. Has a couple of stuns in his back pocket to try and take them down. Tries to, to clean that one up, but he won't be able to. Let's see if he'll... No, okay, he's just, just going to die. And, you know, put quite simply, just going to get taken down there. But that is okay, because you got Sway in on your uh, fly, in, fly in Sway on your screen. I think that's the name that's most confused me out of all. But, uh, you know, he was on your screen until he got knifed away from us all. It was a very, very sad moment as a uh, killer. Trying to get those shots to not be able to clean up that kill. Nels on your screen to uh, play a little bit of defense. So let's swap over to Herdy, who will be playing a bit more of an attacking game. Of course, one player, two players there to beat him. He takes down one. As he's making, you know, a couple of the other players are regrouping back to take him down as well. He tries to take down the second one, but he just wasn't able to. Nels is there. No, Nels is actually over on the defense angle to try to take down one. But you do have Killer on your screens. Knifing one, rotating around. Just couldn't manage to get around the quarter quick enough to be able to take down that kill. And you're going to be seeing the scoreline here with 17 seconds to go. Be 17 po oh, sorry, 7 points to 3. Now, with this second half coming on up, the team of Sway, if they want to stay in this game, they're going to need 
to, uh, you know, need to try and mix something up, try to get a couple more caps in. They managed to get one in just then, but it wasn't the uh, the sort of highlight of of that game and what they can do because they uh, they can possibly make something happen. Let's see what uh, what the guys over on Sway will be able to do starting off in this half. Let's see what uh, you know. We'll, we'll stick on board with Oculus TKO as it will push on down. Of course, going over onto the strip truck. It's going to have one meeting there on the double hunt visi. Won't check that quarter though earlier. Dread will also fall for one of the first picks of the game. Sway, uh, sorry, Vert will be able to take down one as you are going to be seeing uh, one player go through the bottom of Motel, likely wanting to uh, try and get a cap in for himself. Of course, just waiting until the ghost is clear and no one's contesting that, so we'll be able to go on down to get a cap in. Of course, we also did have Sway getting one of their own, so that's going to be 8-5, to five, still 3 points of difference, meaning there is a 20-second timer for a consecutive cap set. That's, what's, that's sort of the time needed to get to tie up the score here. One cap already will happen to the team of Sway, so they're one step closer to tying up this game. That being said, they still need a couple more players and a couple more caps to uh, push on down to try and make this happen. Now, one kill will happen for Dread as he rotates up top. He's going to have his teammate take it down one as well. That was Killer who got dropped. Two players are going to be sitting back. The shot's out. They know he's there at top mechanic. The stuns will go out as well, though. Wasn't able to uh, connect in the end, but he's rotating over now. Just, you know... Poking around with the ADS as he pokes on four. One kill. His teammates will try and get a second one. Try to distract him. Nevertheless, we'll take down that cap. And so far, we haven't really seen uh, the collateral team actually manage to, to go ahead and get these caps in. Now, you do see Hurdy being able to do so. But it's still, it's, it's, uh, the, the team of Sway have been able to get more consecutive caps in, I guess would be the best way to put it, to, to allow them to sort of close up the scoreline as much as they had. That being said... Clara, they know what they've done wrong. They've set up, and even though it's now going cap for cap in the last 30 seconds, they are still setting up for these relays. Both of these teams are getting those relay caps in, and you see Pred right here trying to just hold it alive for himself. Now you're going to be seeing the team of... Let's see. Let me see if I can find who the player is. That is going to be Dread setting up for this relay cap. He's going to be able to go in. The score is tied 11 to 11. But one of the players from Collateral has timed out of the game here. Two minutes 50. This is not looking good for them. As you see Hurdy rotating down to try and make something happen. To try and even up the score. One player from Club will be there. He'll get the cap in. And he'll try to push on down. Now, crucial. It is crucial that they stick on board with a defensive and an attacking strategy here to keep themselves alive. Because three players, they're already, of course, the man down, as you can tell by that. But they're getting out-capped here at this stage because they can't run the caps quick enough and also defend at the same time. You have you had Sway on a 10 streak, I believe it was. You had, uh, sorry, Dread on a 10 streak. You had Flying on 7, as you can see there on your screens. This could be in the game over moment. From these, uh, from these two teams with that lag out, which is always, 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 always unfortunate. But you know, not much you can do at that stage. Of course, Pred going to uh, just be looking around over on to the opposing angle. And actually, no, the fourth has managed to come back on to the game. So he's going to be loading on in. He's going to be trying to see if they can make anything happen. 17 to 13, though. 40 seconds, or sorry, four caps. The difference, make that three. 20 seconds worth of consecutive count time, of course, kept factoring in that he also did include the remaining time from this countdown as well. Say around 22 seconds. The opposing team still relentless with their caps. You still have one third of the time remaining to get enough caps in to come back clutch here. Will they be able to do it? They've secured their defensive line to push it up, even though they can see it here and there. They need to push on down aggressively. They can't leave anything for chance. And Pred, he goes on in for a cap. He doesn't worry about the kills. You got Killer now. Waiting for these relays. All the players are going to be pushing up as well. He needs to just watch on down and go in instantly for this cap in. But they might concede as well. He needs to make sure that his team has his back to keep that covered. And there you go. Three players down. Make that four players. It is 18 to 17. 53 seconds remaining in this map. Of course, if it is a tie, it goes to a repeat. But we don't want that. We want it to go down to the final second where someone scores a last minute cap. Killer. On your screens, we'll get shot out in the side. You've got Pred running through the mid lane. He'll get taken down as well. Nels will get shut down as you've got Hurdy on your screens. We'll try to get a couple of nades over onto the blue dump. He'll be able to get tags on. 
Will he be able to pick off the kill? It doesn't seem like he will. The player has got for the reload over on the blue up there. He will be able to pick off the shots. And of course, they only need one more cap to even up the scoreline. One player is going to be over at storage. Getting those shots out. He will be able to get the kill. Now it evens up the scoreline. Now it's all up to either of these two teams to push on down. Throw another cap in. You got Pred. I'm looking at him to go huge here. He's going to go on down. Three seconds. One player is going to be on the hub. He's there. He goes on down and he goes for that cap. And, but no, the opposing team gets a cap in for themselves as well. They have one final play in. They have just another enough time to go for this cap. Can he make it in time? No. He falls just short. That's going to be 19 to 19. We're going to a map repeat right there with that final map. And what a play there by them being able to go in for the last plays. He was on it. He was waiting for that cap in as well. On the opposing angle, you had the pushing on down to try and get a cap and it fell just short. A player watching that down from the top motel stairs. We're going to a repeat. Don't go anywhere. Blitz Octane coming up once again.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here for the repeated blitz on Octane. The first time round, it was a tie, as depressing as that is. But uh, we are going to be seeing possibly Sway. No, Fire, okay. Is, is it back? Is it a little bit late to the party, the Sway team? You know, the, all of them together. The two of them are holding back here. But uh, Killer will be able to take down one. Now, for those who missed the first map, it was a 19-19 tie for that first time being played. So this is the second time we're playing Blitz on Octane because it was a tie. This is map number three anyway, so this is the final map, ideally, unless they tie it again. I said that last time, I know. But, uh, you know, still... We'll see how things happen. I guess remember, of course, the tweet out the stream using the hashtag, hashtag Astro Circuit. And, of course, the stream link there as well. But uh, we're on board with Nels, but he's a little bit boring. So we'll swap on over to Pred now. Of course, I called him out to go huge at the end to try and get the last minute cap, but he wasn't able to do so. Hopefully, we'll be able to you know, make something happen like that again this time around. So we have another fresh 10 minutes of action. One minute already having been played, and it is a one nil to the team of Calarone. You're also going to keep in mind in the middle, or at, rather near the end of that last uh, of, of the first blitz on off game in that second half, the uh, team of Calarone, one of their players, dropped out. Then they were forced to sort of play three v four for for around a minute and, and, and a bit, while the team of Sway were capping, you know, getting more caps, more caps. They were leading by five. Then at the end. They were able to uh, to catch back up and make it 19-19. So you're going to give both teams effort there for sticking in it for this long. But, uh, you, you know, so far with the 1-0 scoreline, the team of Calaro, they don't seem like they, they really want to push it up so much as before. And they, they're, they're focusing a lot more people over on this defensive line, whether it's just because of respawns or what. But uh, right now, you're going to be seeing the amount of bread rotate over. Take down one kill. Shutting down Oculus and uh, Dread will take down a Hurdy. So still not too much happening here from his perspective, as I say that he gets collided by two players and taken down. Here you got Hurdy though, going to be on the bottom hotel side. We'll actually swap over to the opposing team. Let's see what Oculus TKO can do from his perspective, as of course you will be seeing a couple of players over on that blue dump. Two players going to be running into that motel side now though, as he'll take down one. He'll try to push on down, but he will get taken down by the second. You got Vert now. Uh, you know, pick you off one kill. Nice and easy. Looking for a second one. Of course, the other three players are over on that motel side. So we'll swap back over to Nels. Nels just play that defensive row. Got Killer going to be rotating forward here. One's going to be over on Strip there as well. And it doesn't seem like uh, anyone's really paying that much attention to that player. So he'll just be able to go on down and get that cap. Of course, one player is running defense uh, for the team of Collateral. But it didn't seem to really stop him there. Both teams managing to get a cap there from their respective contests. Not really that being heavily contested that much. As you can see, uh, Dred's cap wasn't. As, of course, that was their first cap into the board, whereas Collateral have got a two, so they are in the lead. So, uh, flying Sway, just holding off his own. Trying to get the double, gets the triple as well. Melts them completely, shutting them straight down and denying them their opportunity to go ahead and get a cap. Two minutes remaining in the half, and we're not seeing nearly, nearly as many caps as we did the first time round. Of course, there is still more time for that to happen, but... We'll see what he can from Vert's perspective. He takes that one. He couldn't get the second one. I'm not sure if he really knew that player was there. If he just you know, got out of the ADS regardless. But uh, you're going to be seeing Oculus take down one. Another player is going to be coming through the strip alley. Possibly going to shoot him in the back there. No, he doesn't even look that way to try and take him down. One's well, going to be right in front of him. Though as you can see from the minimum, Oculus is going to be pushing him down. One's going to uh, try and stand in his way. But not doing too much of a good effort there from him. But he will take down one as he'll get taken down by Oculus. Straight off the spawn there as Pred takes down Dread. Now you're going to be seeing the opposing team cap as well. So that's going to be a 3-3 scoreline. And we're going to be seeing them try to push him down. Try to get, you know, make something else happen. You're flying just absolutely destroying people right he might be able to you know get singles but he gets doubles and sometimes he gets those triplers triples as well as you have 3-3 currently being the uh the score line here killer trying to get those shots in he actually gets the assist in the end you see there from the overhead camera you got killer in one you got one in port you got hurdy now pushing on down to try and stop him, and he does do so successfully. You're going to have the players. You see, you see, uh, that, that'd be 100% flying. He just he stops for a moment, he then just skips around, and uh, luckily he got taken down there because I, I would have thought that he might have just banked out Hurdy right there in that contest. But he, Hurdy now knows that there is going to be players there. His teammates are there to back him up as well from the opposing angles. 19 seconds remaining here in this half, and 
does seem like the majority of players over on that area did get taken down from the team of Kalari. So now what they're going to do is they're going to hold over on their capture point, turn a lot around, and they'll try and pick off these kills, work towards their streaks, and try and uh, not concede any points here in this one. So that's going to be the first, first half score, sorry. It's going to be 3-3. Three, three. And that is going to be the, the half. So we still have the second half to come. And that does mean that in this stage, what will uh, you know? What will either of these two te two teams do? I guess that would be the the best question to for for these two teams at, at this stage. Unfortunately, one player has actually dropped on out. Flying after all that lagging, he's finally disconnected from the game. And of course, since the kill has been made the game cannot continue. Now this is going to be a tricky situation for them here at this uh, at, at this moment because you know, last time round they uh, no, 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 the game can't, no, no, no. That was uh, not meant to be done. Which is unfortunate, but after all of that, it had to, had to end in a forfeit. That's really going to suck. Now, for those that are a little bit confused as to why that would be a forfeit, is because that, you know, fair enough, he lagged out of the game before the game eventually, uh, you know, before a kill happens. But the fact that they did end it and a kill happened in the game means that it is Collateral's map, and Collateral take that one out. And they're going to be going on to the next rounds of this competition. And they're going to be going on to take on Mega here in, in uh, this round. So that's going to be a 2-1 count. And we'll now see them in this next round. Losers back in round 8 coming on up. And apparently, no, okay, they didn't do it because of the player lag. Yeah, they didn't want to get him back in. They just generally forfeited in general, apparently. That seems to be the case, which is uh, fair enough. That is going to be a 2-1 score count. We do have... Uh, collateral taking on Mega up next. Don't go anywhere. Loser bracket round eight coming up.